Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about sub for sub and in case you guys do not know what that is, it's where you subscribe to someone in exchange for a subscribe back. Now, a lot of people think this is the way to grow on YouTube, but I'm here to tell you that this is the worst way you can ever grow your channel. Aside from giveaways, Sub for Sub is literally the worst way you can grow. For starters, you have people who are only subscribed because they want to get their numbers up. They're not subscribing because they seem interested in your content and want to look out for more. And Sub for Sub also violates YouTube rules with fake engagement. Think about going to a store. What makes you come back to that store? And if you can't really answer that to the channel you're subscribing to, then maybe you're subscribed to it for the wrong reasons. Now, Sub for Sub is just lazy. It just shows that you are not taking YouTube seriously. You're not taking your business seriously. There is a big difference between someone who didn't know any better because when you're new YouTube, views, subscribers, those things cross your mind, but you kind of overlook the things you need to get to that point and being told that Sub for Sub is not working and you keep on doing it. So if you were told Sub for Sub doesn't work and you immediately stop or you were branded, started over, that's very good, but we're talking about people who are told this doesn't work and they do not listen. The one thing I hate it is when you tell someone that Sub for Sub does not grow their channel and they get salty with you. What is your deal? That person is trying to prevent you from getting your channel terminated. YouTube can terminate your channel if they catch you doing sub for sub and spam. I remember one time I shared a video in a group and I put no sub for sub because they're, I don't do that. And this person commented sub for sub. I replied, I don't sub for sub and they told me to KMS and in case y'all don't know what that is, I'm going to tell you. That person throws a tantrum like a toddler because I told him that I am not going to sub for sub. So if he wants to get his channel terminated because he was warned that sub for sub is wrong and he didn't listen, that's his prerogative. But I'm not going to do that to my channel. And the next day I was kicked from the group. Either I was kicked or Facebook took it down or because I did report his comments. So maybe Facebook took the group down. I don't know. But that's what happens. You tell people what they're doing is wrong and you need to fix it and they get angry with you. No wonder why people say small YouTubers can't take criticism. Because y'all act like a bunch of pansies when people tell y'all to stop sub for subbing. Now, again, we're not talking about everybody. Specifically the people who don't want to listen to what they're being told to do. Grow your channel the right way. Wouldn't you feel better if it took you a year to get a thousand subscribers but you did it authentically genuinely by doing the things you are taught like seo promotion making good titles and thumbnails this is one thing i want y'all to keep in mind winners never cheat and cheaters never win i'm quite sure for those of you who are in sports the coach tells you that if you cheat aka suffer sub in the end you're not gonna win because in the end you do you want thousands of subscribers and nobody's clicking on your videos and in all fairness it's kind of hard to make that judgment now because youtube has changed since 2015 16. so it's really hard to tell if someone does suffer sub outside of deleting their spam comments in your videos but moral of the story you guys if youtube puts a video out in people's feeds and nobody clicks on it within a certain amount of time. Then that tells YouTube, okay, this video is not interesting. And they will push it down further. They will not recommend it. Suffer sub people can hurt your average view duration, aka your audience retention. And that measures how long you can hold people's attention. Now what I'm gonna do is go on the video, write sub for sub, I sub, sub back to me, and then leave. That's gonna lower your retention. It's gonna tell YouTube that the video is not interesting because they left after 10 seconds, that's gonna hurt your ranking and overall your whole channel. If all your videos have 
core retention. That's why it's important that you stay away from these fake practices. Support each other, view for view, life for life. It's just disguising, sub for sub in some way. The person will like the video if they found it useful. They will subscribe if they find the content useful and want more. They will subscribe on their own if they like your content. Okay. So that's all I'm going to say from here. And I am going to block sub for sub people because I want to grow my channel the right way. I am not a cheater. Cheaters do not win. Winners do not cheat. Make sure you subscribe for more and turn the bell icon so you know when I will be posting on this channel. Advice, commentary, tutorials, anything in that bell will be on Tuesdays. So if you subscribe for videos like these, tune in on Tuesdays at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. So I will see you.